can't, well, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, feeling a little sad because I think it's like, you know, watching somebody leave home. Space Shuttle Discovery began a new mission as it left NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, destined for the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum, Udvar-Hazy Center, outside Washington, D.C. Discovery's flyout from Kennedy on Tuesday, April 17, 2012, began several days earlier when the shuttle, equipped with an aerodynamic tail cone over its three main engines, was rolled out of the cavernous vehicle assembly building for the last time. It was towed about two miles to the shuttle landing facility where NASA's shuttle carrier aircraft, a modified 747, was already waiting. Technicians who had prepped shuttles many times before for cross-country ferry flights once again took their stations inside the mate demate device at Kennedy to carefully hoist the 83-ton Discovery and place it gingerly on the 747. The combination was pushed away from the steel stacking structure and spent the day at the Center of Appreciation for employees and NASA officials who came out to see the spacecraft one last time in its operational environment. Some of the astronauts of Discovery's last mission, STS-133, came back to Kennedy to see the shuttle's departure. This has been Discovery's home for a long time, and, but I think the Smithsonian's going to take uh, beautiful care of her as well, so I look forward to um, taking my family up there sometime and uh, seeing, seeing her on display. Space shuttles routinely impress people with their performances and even flying through the air on a 747 inspires a certain gee whiz notion even among astronauts. You know, once you get over the shock of realizing that it's going away for the last time, uh, you can't not look at it and say, wow, how in the world does that combination still work? How does that fly? The 747 and its precious shuttle cargo are going to give many more the chance to see the orbiter as it flies up the east coast to the nation's capital. We're, we're doing a series of flyovers starting here at Kennedy and we're doing one in, in uh, Washington DC and we want to do the best job that we can so uh, a lot of, lot of eyes watching us on this delivery. Retired after more than 25 years of space flight, Discovery will take a centerpiece position in the Smithsonian's preeminent Museum of Aerospace Accomplishments. It will testify to the shuttle fleet's accomplishments and inspire future space explorers. Discovery will go on public display in its new home April 19th, two days after leaving Kennedy.